One of the guys in my club, Club Texas, it's my trout support membership program, and it's not just a club, it's also a set of mastery courses and all that stuff. He asked the question, is, Man, what's up with corkies? I have no idea. He's an angler that's new to them. He's a good angler. So I thought I'd real quick give a real quick touch on the corkies and corky season. First of all, there is no real season to corkies, all right? The reason why we fish these baits primarily in the winter time is because if you throw it in front of a redfish or ladyfish or non-target species, then it will get trashed, okay? Yes, they're made fairly tough, but why use an eight to 12 to $20 bait in front of those fish when you can catch them on a jalapeno? I'm just saying. Okay, so what is a corky? This is the Paul Brown original. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this up in front of this guy because I don't like the hand thing. All right, so that is the Paul Brown original. Why are they called corkies? Paul Brown made them. Shouldn't they be called brown lures and you know brown trout, trouser trout or something like that? No, they're called a corky because they have a cork insert inside of them. They're what is referred to as a wire form bait where Stainless steel wire runs through the bait, drops to the hooks, drops to the back hook. Now, Paul Brown, the inventor of these baits, made a cork insert that they wrapped with some type of foil or holographic, etc., to add some internal coloration and flash. And that cork is in all of the original style lures, as well as the devil, okay? We've got the what's referred to as the original. This is the very first one he came out. It is good in the fall and spring when you're around small bait, okay? And then next came out was the Fat Boy. It's more of a um, Menhaden or Shad body, more of the Ovate style Shad body, okay? And it's just a bigger presentation. And then the Devil came out next, okay? The Devil is basically the original with a rat tail form. I use this bait during the post front conditions or also between solid or bite windows when I, just on a less, uh, um, less aggressive or uh, the aggression of the bite is off for some reason, whether it be post front or just uh, between bite windows. It is essentially a soft plastic rat tail bait with a cork in it that sinks slower and gives a more subtle presentation. These baits are not suspending baits. These are slow sink baits, okay? Which brings me to the difference between the, the original Fat Boy, which is the first out Fat Boy that has a rattle in it, okay? Has a rattle in it versus the, what's referred to as the floater Fat Boy. You know they're the floater because of the gills on them, all right? No rattle. Okay, that looked fun. <laughs> no rattle, they have gills on them. They, they just sink slower, guys, okay? They still sink, but they sink slower, all right? Um, in the same category, but not a true corky, is the Soft Dean XL. Paul Brown came out with these later, and they're very similar in shape to the Miradines, but they are a slightly different shape, narrower. They actually have a foil insert that is uh, inserted with foam inside of it, okay? Similarly, the Pro Model Corky Fat Boys also have a foam insert. The difference between the foam models and the cork is that the foam can help it sink more level. That's about it. I will say that it's harder to tune these baits just real quick, because this is a little quick video, there's a lot of different things you can do to this bait and none of them are wrong, okay? Um, when they come to you straight out of the package, I'm bending this back, when they come to you straight out of the package, they are almost dead straight. Let's say that that is dead straight, straight out of the package. You can fish it just like that. You can also bend the nose down and bending the nose down will start to get you more of a walk the dog type action. Bend the tail down slightly, possibly about an eighth of an inch off of center, and you also get a little bit better walk. 
Now there are guys that have devised methods where they bend the tail down sharply. It's just another different presentation. It tends to give you a more organic, all over the place walking twitch. All right, so this is the introduction into them. I'm not gonna really cover how to work them in this video. Maybe in a couple days I'll do that. Maybe add in some clips of working different baits. There's already a uh, introductory video of that inside further down in my queue where I caught about, I believe it was a nine six or nine three pound trout on it. At the time, that was my current personal best, which I've since caught larger. Um, that's your introduction into Corky Fat Boys. There are also custom paint jobs of these. You just wanna make sure they're painted on the mirror blanks. And yes, all the custom Corkies, whether it's Coastal Marsh or the custom Corky guys at the Waterloo Pro Shop are all from the Waterloo, I'm sorry, from the Paul Brown Mirror Blanks. All right, guys, hope that helps. That's the Corky Lure. Later.